Hello and welcome to another Excel tutorial. My name is Gash Prakamashik, you're watching the Excel Olympics YouTube channel and this is a doozy. It's an advanced Power Query tutorial and it comes from real life. So this basically comes from a project I did a couple of months ago where a certain store was trying to create a web page by listing their product. And the problem they had was, of course, for each product, they, was, they were trying to list the attributes of that product. But the problem they had is when they got the, um, the specs sheets of the products from the uh, producers, what they sent them was just a description of a product, right? Now the description went something like this, right? It's a description of a car, but what they needed was something far more in this sense, right? So this car, does it have a metallic color? Yes, it does. Does it have a diesel engine? Yes, it does. Is it a five door model? Yes, it is. Does it have 18 inch alloy wheels? No, it does not, right? So basically they needed attributes, but all they got were the descriptions. So what we were trying to do is take, and the list was long, right? That was about 2000 products. So doing it by hand was just not an option. So how would you turn a description into a list of attributes? And what we're going to do is we're basically going to do it with power query and we're going to use the filter step, although we're not really going to create a filter step and then change it. We're just going to write it by hand. But what we will do is basically create a filter step. So we're going to take this data and we're going to take our translation table, right? We need a translation table. So we need something like, so let's say we're trying to find the diesel engine, right? So we need an attribute diesel engine, but how does that appear in our descriptions? And we find that in the first description, it's actually TDI, so turbo diesel. And then if we go to the last description, it's turbo diesel. So it has two different descriptions. And that was the biggest problem there. If all the descriptions were unique, then you, it wouldn't be a problem, but they were multiple ways to describe the same attribute. So what you do is you create this table where you say, well, the diesel engine can either be this or this. And it's a simple, simple table to fill. So I left one blank here. So the gasoline, how do we know it's a gasoline engine? Well, this one says this white coupe features a powerful 2.2 liter petrol engine. Oh, it's going to say petrol. Let's just write that down. So petrol that's how it's gonna be right and there's another thing to be to keep in mind here so this is gonna be the, the matchup is gonna be simulated by power query so the the case is it, power query is case sensitive so if petrol was written with a large p this would have to have the upper p right so those are the things to keep in mind, but we did. So this basically is a, just a simple example, but it will show how we do it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to load both of these into Power Query. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and just say data from sheet. So load it into Power Query. And with this done, I'm actually gonna go the old fashioned way. I would never do it like this, but Let's do it the old fashioned way. So that's the first one. And now let's bring this one in exactly the same way, right? So let's bring this one in. Okay. So let me just elaborate on that. The way I would do it is I would actually duplicate this one, get rid of this, get rid of this, and then say, well, translation table is the one I need and just got that one. Um, and then change the name, right? That's the way I will do it. Um, but it doesn't hurt to do it, you know, the old fashioned way from time to time. Okay, so now we have our base table with our descriptions and we have our translation table. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need 
for these for this table to actually be a two column table where we're going to have the attribute and the value so diesel can be tdi and then again a row where diesel can be turbo diesel right and because this is power query that's the easiest thing to do you just select the first column right click and go unpivot other columns simple as that now the attributes we don't need so that's the name of the column we don't need that we need this so we need the attribute and we need the value now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take this last step and i'm going to rename it so i'm going to call it specs like this and now that i have this i'm going to create a custom step like so and i'm going to just take this code let me just grab it over here so i'm gonna take this code there should be no space before the equal sign um, and let's just go through it so table at column so it's going to add a column to a table which table to the base table so funny enough we're in a query called translation table and yet we're going to start with the base table that will be our our start we're going to take the base table and we're going to add a column to it and the column that we're going to add we're going to call it custom right this could be anything so it's just what you call it and then this each so for each row this is the funny one now what are we doing here well what we're actually doing is we're filtering right every time you see a filter step in power query you're going to see it says each right because it's a function it iterates and it sees if something fits it's kind of doing the true false for each and every for each row and then it's deciding which rows to keep and which rows to basically throw away so what we're doing here is we're selecting rows from the specs right what are the specs well you know what are the specs right it's our uh, the table that we or the step that we ended up with right is the two column table with the attribute and the value uh, so we take the specs and then what i'm doing here is i'm just abbreviating the specs so the sp just stands for take those specs usually what you would see with the filter that would actually be empty and that means just take whatever was written before but i'm going to call it sp just so i can easily say look what i want you to do i want you to kind of iterate through it with a function and see if text is contained so which text well text that is in the sp which is the specs right um, step value column if that one is contained within the description column of the base table right? so that's what this code says let's run it and here it is right it's kind of it's kind of funny right we were just in this query we had this table and now we're actually in this query kind of uh, but we added a table and let's see what that table contains well it contains two columns and now let's bring out the value column we don't need the attribute so or actually it's the other way around we need the attribute we don't need the value I'm not going to use the original column name as prefix okay and there it is so for each vehicle now i have its attributes or specs right and now well this just wouldn't be cool it would be okay if i was trying to sort of break it down into excel and have a pivot table or something but for the for the example that we did we needed to change this this was not an okay final result so what we did was simply this i said add a column it's going to be a custom column i didn't really care what it was called um, but it all it was was a single x right and then i took the attribute and what i did is i said transform it into by pivoting and the values column is the custom column and what I want you to do is I, want, I don't want you to count it because then the X's would become ones. What I want you to do is don't aggregate. So bring me this. And this is brilliant, right? So here are my vehicles. Does it have a metallic color? Well, this one does. This one does. This one does not, 
okay? and so on and so on and so we got breaking down descriptions into attributes for each vehicle or for each product let's say and now with this i could go close and loads too and basically let's say to a table to the existing worksheet let's go to this one and let's go somewhere over here so or basically let's do this let's just say over here and okie dokie and there it is right but what you're basically looking at is this table is just formatted a bit differently so that is how you take descriptions and you turn them into attributes uh, this is it is an advanced power query uh, method but it kind of simulates fuzzy matching right if you know fuzzy matching fuzzy matching helps you when you say well you know because the the basic use would be well power query is case sensitive but usually people are not and and excel is not so it kind of prepares us for that um, so we could have a diesel uh, with a capital D and then we could have a diesel all small letters and then these two would actually not be the same in or would not get matched up where we were merging queries in Power Query, right? Because it's, it's case sensitive. But fuzzy matching enables us. So let me just show you. Now this will... Um, so if I took this and I say merge queries and I took this one, I would say, here's a new encode, here's a new encode, right? Um, it would match that perfectly. But what I could also do or say is say, well, use fuzzy matching and you see the options it gives me are the first one is ignore case, right? That's the basically what it was uh, I think designed to do before anything else um, but then it also has a part that says match by combining text parts um, and just taking so what it says is I'm looking for this but I'm not gonna look for an exact match I'm I'm gonna look if this is contained anywhere within this whole text as part of that text um, so fuzzy matching is kind of what you would do if you would be just merging two queries um, and it's kind of what we're simulating here right because we're looking for um, if i go back to this we're looking for this so is this word in this description is this word in this description is this word in this description and if it is then you know that gasoline is the attribute that you should give that product right this is what we're doing here and i think it's a brilliant brilliant thing and um, i also wrote a blog post on excel unplugged about this so um you know if you want to take the formula or play around with the with the file you can just i'll leave the link in the description below um, so you can grab that from the from the Excel Unplugged and play around with this because it is a very, very uh, strong method to use or a very, very strong tool to have in your tool belt while using Power Query. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this week's video and I'll see you on the next one.